so dear parent and student welcome back to the test prep card channel hope all of you are doing great in your life we are back with the one more interesting video which is going to be about nit manipur national institute of technology manipur and it is one of the good uh, government college in india and we will be discussing the following topics in this video firstly i will be giving you a brief overview of nit manipur then we will be discussing the eligibility criteria then the courses offered the cut off uh, for different different branches in nit manipur are there some uh, scholarship available uh, the nri quota in nit manipur the reservation for indian and nri students so these will be the basic topics for discussion in our today's video so i hope that you will like the video so uh, completely watch the video and if you uh, like it then consider subscribing the channel so let us begin with the brief introduction of nit manipur so nit manipur is one of the 31 national institute of technology present in india okay it is generally established in 2010 and it's situated in the capital city of manipur which is imphal okay uh, its area is around 341 acres uh, talking about its nirf ranking it is 158 not a very good rank but a decent one okay uh, talking about its connectivity from the railway station and airport so uh, it is very close to the airport but railway stations are little far away so it is about 11 kilometers away from beer uh, tikendra jit international airport in imphal which is the capital city of manipur talking about its connectivity from the railway station uh, you can reach here via dimapur railway station which is 200 kilometers and talking about the guwahati railway station guwahati a very indian a very famous indian city uh, you must have heard it uh, its name so it is uh, around 490 kilometer from nit manipur so the best way to reach here is i think airport because airport is just 11 kilometers which is not a very big distance so now let us move to the eligibility criteria for nit manipur so as the exam through which you can get admission is in nit manipur is jee main so the eligibility criteria is same as the eligibility criteria for jee main in undergraduate courses generally you have to score at least 75% in your class 12th with physics and maths as a compulsory subject or you if you have a state board then you should be in top 20 percentile in your state board but this criteria is excluded from the academic year 2021 due to pandemic situation talking about the eligibility criteria for mtech courses or post graduation you should have at least 60% of marks in your btech 60 60% okay and talking about uh, btech uh, sorry undergraduate course again you can attempt je main consecutively for 3 years means you can attempt uh, consecutively 3 years means uh, for example you have attempted first in 2020 then in 21 then in 22 then you can't attempt it in 2023 so this is the basic criteria for admission basic eligibility criteria okay now moving to the nri quota so under uh, dasa scheme the admissions are provided by nit manipur to the nri candidates okay so uh, talking about the seats for nri candidates so there are about a total 180 seat in nit manipur Uh, from which 15 seats 15 15 seats are specially reserved for the students under nri quota there are five seats in computer science engineering five seats in electronics and communication and five seats in electrical engineering so this is the basic seat distribution for nri candidates okay now let us move to the reservation for indian candidates in nit manipur uh, is there any reservation for indian candidates so yes in all the nits there is a special reservation for the candidates uh, from the reserved categories first of all 50% of seats in nit manipur are reserved for the from for the candidates of the home state means the candidates whose home state is manipur means they are residing in manipur they have a domicile of manipur or they have completed their education in manipur so 50% of the total seats are specially reserved for them then the next reservation is category based reservation 7.5% seats are reserved for scheduled tribes means st candidates 15% of seats are reserved for scheduled caste or sc candidates 27% seats are reserved for other backward classes or we can say obc and 10% of seats are reserved for economically weaker sections 
और ई डब्ल्यू एस सो दीज आर दरियस कैटेगरी वाइज सीट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और रिजर्वेशन एंड फाइव परसेंट ऑफ सीट्स इन ईच ऑफ दीज कैटेगरी विच आई मैंशन अर्लियर आर रिजर्व फॉर पी डब्ल्यू डी और फिजिकली हैंडी कैप्ड कैंडिडेट्स फाइव परसेंट सीट्स ओके नाउ लेट एस मूव द रिक्वायर्ड इंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन टू गेट एडमिशन इन एन आई टी मनीपुर सो फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट इट इज जे ई मेन ऑब्वियसली और एंड फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन लेवल इट इज गेट एग्जामिनेशन टॉकिंग अबाउट द मोड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इट इज ऑनलाइन ओके द मोड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इज ऑनलाइन नाउ लेट एस मूव टू द कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड बाई एन आई टी मनीपुर वट आर द वेरियस वेरियस कोर्सेज इन बी टेक एंड वट आर द वेरियस वेरियस कोर्सेज इन एम टेक विच आर ऑफर्ड बाई एन आई टी मनीपुर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोर्सेज इन बी टेक देर आर टोटल फाइव स्ट्रीम्स अंडर विच यू कैन परस्यू यूर बैचलर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी द फर्स्ट वन इज कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग देन कम्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन देन इलेक्ट्रिकल देन मैकेनिकल एंड एट लास्ट दट इज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो दीज आर द फाइव स्ट्रीम्स टॉकिंग अबाउट मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी और एम टेक देर आर अगेन फाइव स्ट्रीम्स कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिविल एंड मैकेनिकल मीन सेम फाइव स्ट्रीम्स यू कैन परस्यू यूर बी टेक इन दीज सेम फाइव स्ट्रीम्स यू कैन परस्यू यूर एम टेक इन एन आई टी मनीपुर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कोर्सेज नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज गोइंग टू बी कट ऑफ वॉट इज द कट ऑफ फॉर एन आई टी मनीपुर to get admission in these different different courses now talking about the home state cut off the uh, cut off is generally divided into two types home state cut off and other state cut off this is for indian candidates okay so for computer science engineering if a candidate is from state of manipur means he has home state quota then the closing rank is 2 lakh 38000 very very uh, far away because uh, it indicates that there are very less candidates from the state of manipur the closing rank is 2 lakh 38000 for electronics and communication it is 3 lakh 92000 it is for home state okay for electrical it is 1 lakh 89000 for mechanical it is 3 lakh 19000 and for civil engineering it is 1 lakh 21000 so these are the cut off for home state candidates talking about the cut off for other state means the candidates whose home state is not manipur they are from the other indian states so for computer science engineering the closing rank is 28000 for electronics and communication engineering the closing rank is 33000 for electrical engineering the closing rank is 39000 for mechanical engineering the closing rank is 42000 and for civil engineering uh, the closing rank is 47000 so this is about the cut off for the candidates of home state and other state i have taken the general category cut off here but the cut off for uh, sc obc st and ews category is different from this cut off this is generally a cut off for general candidates okay if you want to uh, see the uh, category wise cut off you can visit the official website and for talking about the cut off for nri candidates so there is a link given in the description section for the cut off for nri candidates so you can visit the link in the description and you can check the uh, nri cut offs for nit manipur so this is all for cut off hope the cut off section is clear to you now let us move to one more very interesting topic or very important topic i will say and the topic is application process for nit manipur means how you can apply to get admission there so there is no direct admission you can't directly visit the nit manipur website and apply there because there is a entrance examination required so i will tell you the step by step process to apply how to get admission there okay so the first step is registering for je main you have to register you have to fill the application form of joint entrance examination or jee main which is generally out in the month of september or sometime in october means september to october you have to keep in mind and you have to fill the application form now what you have to do in application form in application form you have to provide the basic details like first of all your personal information then your contact details your address then you have to paste there or you have to upload their scanned photograph of yours uh, obviously scanned signature of yours and your 10th and 12th class scanned mark sheet now some of you may have doubt that you are appearing for 12th class this year how you will upload before the results because the form are out before the results so don't worry if you are filling there that you are 12th appearing they will not ask your 12th class mark sheet that they will only ask your 10th class mark sheet but if you you will fill their 12th pass then they will be asking your 12th class mark sheet also 
but at the time of counseling you have to provide your 12th class mark sheet in which a minimum of 75 percent aggregate should be there but it is excluded uh, from the year 2021 keep in mind okay for the candidates from next year they have to provide the certificate of 12th with minimum 75 percent aggregate so this is the first step the second step is you have to download your admit card obviously because without admit card you can't sit in the examination the third step is you have to attempt the JMAIN examination okay you have to score a good percentile there uh, to get admission it is the third step. the fourth step is after you have got your result you have got your rank the fi after final result you have to visit the josa website josa is a web uh, josa is a body which conduct counseling for different different colleges all over india you have to register for josa counseling and after josa counseling uh, the josa counseling when josa counseling will be over you will be allocated the seat of various colleges and if there are uh, some seats which are left then you can apply for csep counseling csep counseling is generally carried out for the colleges where some of the seats are left okay now uh, let me tell you about the nri ebook before telling the final topic which is a scholarship present in nit manipur let me tell you the nri ebook nri ebook is prepared by test prep card and it is especially for the nri or pio candidates so you can download it the link is given in the description of this video it is going to be really very helpful for you so i will recommend that watch the complete video only one or two minutes are left and then visit the description to download the NRI ebook. Now let us move to the last topic. The last topic is very important because it is scholarship. But before knowing the scholarship, you must know the fee structure. Then only the scholarship will be a valid topic to be discussed. So talking about the fee structure, so general fees for Indian candidates is around 70 to 75,000 per year, per semester sorry. Per semester the fees is 70 to 75,000. For NRI candidates under uh, DASA scheme, the fee is generally around 4000 US dollar per semester. It is generally the college fee, not the hostel and mess fee. That is separate thing, okay? And for NRI candidates under CIWG scheme, the fee is around 60 to 65,000 rupees per semester. So, this is the general fee. Talking about the scholarship in NIT Manipur, so if a candidate is from SC or ST category then full tuition fee is uh, waived out or means you have not to pay any tuition fee there you have to just pay the other fees like examination fee library fee which is very less means maximum portion of your fee is uh, not asked if a candidate has a family income less than 1 lakh he is also exempted from the total tuition fee and if any general or OBC candidate whose family income is from 1 lakh to 5 lakh then two third of the tuition fee is not taken there. You have to just pay one third of your tuition fee. So these are the general scholarship present in NIT Manipur. So this is all for the video. Hope you like the video. If you like the video consider liking uh, the video consider subscribing the channel for more such updates. If you have any doubt then freely comment down in the comment section and we will try to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.